Hi, Brent Tech here with Tech is Made Simple. When it comes to you browsing the internet and visiting web pages and websites and so on, basically your data is everywhere on the internet. And this is done by little bits of data that get left behind when you visit web pages and websites. And this data is known as a cookie. And what companies like Google and third party companies can do is they can trace your usage and your interests through obviously the websites and web pages you visit and then can send you um, advertising and marketing according to your interests accordingly. Now, what Google is doing um, in relation to your privacy um, in an up and coming feature, and this feature is called a privacy sandbox. And Google is calling this new approach a privacy sandbox. And instead of revealing your personal details, um, it will collect certain information and hide individual and individual inside a large crowd with similar interests um, and then will target the crowd with ads instead of you personally. And now um, Google will still be collecting information about you and that's for sure, but they just won't know it's you specifically. Um, but rather you as a collection of interests that are grouped into various pools in this sandbox. So although they will still be, um, you know, tra tracking your, 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 your cookies and your usage, you will be basically in a pool of other people in, a, in this so-called sandbox. Now, the version of Google Chrome I have got open on my desk at the moment is Google Chrome Canary. It is a pre-release version of Google Chrome and it is not a stable version of Chrome, but it has a lot of features that could possibly roll out eventually to the stable version of Google Chrome. So if we go to the top right and we go to our settings and then in settings, we go to privacy and security. You will see now in Chrome Canary, there is a new feature under privacy and security called privacy sandbox and this is what I was talking about earlier it is not in the stable version of Chrome yet so obviously this is pre-release so if we go into Google Chrome Canary and we click on privacy sandbox um, we can just see here about privacy sandbox I'm just going to read this quickly I'm just going to read the first line privacy sandbox is an ongoing initiative to preserve the open web that will help safeguard you from tracking mechanisms and then you can just read this if you have Chrome Canary. And then this is what I want to just check here is that Privacy Sandbox Trials. You can obviously turn this off if you wish. And then that sandbox will be disabled at the moment. And I'm going to leave it on just to see what happens. And then when enabled, sites may use the privacy preserving techniques shown here to provide their content and services. These include alternatives to cross-site tracking more trials may be added over time. Advertisers can learn when thousands of users share a similar interest like a crowd at a concert and select ads for the crowd rather than an individual person. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Advertisers can study the effectiveness of ads in a way that does not track you across sites. So I just wanted to let you guys know about this um, new feature. I was reading an article the other day and this popped up and I thought it was interesting. Obviously, it's nowhere near being released in a stable version yet, but could be an interesting um, up and coming uh, privacy feature that Google may add to a um, stable version of Google Chrome in the near future. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.